Hey everybody, welcome back. So today it's a little late to the game, I think maybe, but I have my glam bag next open. And like I say every time, it's not really a bag, it's a box, but Glam Bag X. All right, let's get right in. I, I know that I don't quite know the um, the curator person for this box. It's Madeline Pesh, I think. Um, she's on that one show, River Riverdale. She's on Riverdale. I'm familiar with her and what she looks like, and I think... YouTube a couple months ago, I watch sometimes this online dietitian woman named Abby Sharp. She has a YouTube channel and she kind of goes through like what I eat in a day videos and kind of talks about how these people could, you know, put in a little more protein in, the, in here, a little more fat or carbs over here, or hey, they're doing a great job. And she did one on, on Madeline a few, a handful of months ago. And it was, she was really sweet to watch. I really liked her energy and everything. So I'm hopeful that this is a good one. So let's see. And if you noticed, I did use my scissors. So, all right, let's pull out the Glam Bag X magazine. Um, I said before, this is a little bit of a waste. I think to me, I guess it has some useful information. I just, it's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so Madeline, 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 I'm sorry if I am saying that wrong. I think it looks like it's pronounced Madeline, but sometimes things are spelled completely different than what they're supposed to be. So I don't know. Um, but her front page, it says self care is my superpower. I've been a fan of Ipsy a long time. So the chance to put together my very own glam bag X and handpick every single product that went in it has been such a dream. Self care is hugely important to me and was the biggest inspiration behind my glam bag X collection. All these products are things I really value for my self-care. Help me feel like I'm taking a step forward from the hectic world and towards myself. My goal for this collab is not to only spread the light on those these products I love and use every day, but I'll also share my values, which is why I'm so proud to tell you that everything in my Glam Bag X is also cruelty-free. That's neat. Everyone deserves a little me time. So consider my Glam Bag X your invitation to join my self-care crew where I keep it real about the good, the bad, and the beautiful. And so you can too. That's a sweet note. And just look how cute she is. Look at the cute little, little lady. All right. So opening up, you do the whole, they like list every single thing um, that you could get in your box. And they have a page full of like makeup tips and they have a little more of an interview um with madeline it has mad libs with her so i'm not going to read the whole mad libs don't worry and then it's just more of her pics and her best face forward things like that and then the back just gives you um advice on self-care staples so she gives her matcha latte recipe and then talks about moving your body and going outside reading getting a facial study time with friends um yeah, so I just, this, I mean, I know that I'm not the biggest fan of these because I kind of just get like kind of FOMO feeling of all the items that I didn't get in mine. But I do, um, I like the message in this one. I, I do, I really like that. So that all said, let's get to the goods. All right. So it's all wrapped in it and it, it has like the, this thing covering everything to cushion all of it. All right. Starting from the top. Okay, so these are com complex culture, all the angles, two brushes. And when I say complex culture, I never quite know. Do Did everybody say complex culture or complex culture? I don't know which one it would be. I don't think it really matters, but like sometimes when it's a brand like that and people say it different ways, I wonder what did the creator of the brand want it to be? So it looks like we have a angled contouring brush, the angles. And then seems like, this seems like one I would use for highlighter maybe to put the highlight on. I really like complex culture brushes. I have quite a few of them right now and they're pretty legit. They'll be listed in here. Um, 
but I think I'm going to wait to look them up until I have everything out of the box because that would just, this is going to get a little chaotic if I try to look it up every time. All right, so this is Saturday Skin Apple and Peach Rise and Shine Gentle Cleanser. All right, so that's good. And I can see the product and the product goes up to about here. So I know sometimes it seems like we get some products and the amount of product that we get isn't great, but this is pretty full on. Um, let's smell it. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not overwhelming. It's pretty subtle, at least to me right now. Maybe if I put more on, I'll, I'll get more. Um, yeah, but you know, sometimes you'll open a, a cleanser or some sort of fragranted product and it's just like, that's the only thing that you're gonna smell for the rest of the day. This isn't like that, I don't think. And I, it doesn't mean much, but the, the packaging is really smooth and soft. So it just it seems like it's gonna be a good product. And I like that it's full size and it's something I can just, you know, just put in my shower and, and use. So awesome. Okie dokie. So, okay, this, this thing got a little, it's got a little rough around the edges in the box, but it is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. So. Okay, Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Gently squeeze tube to allow two to three drops of Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil onto fingertips, massage into skin until fully absorbed. Huh, okay. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. It's like a little roller ball on the end. Do you use the roller ball to roll it on your face? No. All right, we're gonna try some, just, I'm just gonna try some. Okay, so it comes out, looks like that. Just all around it smells it definitely smells like roses what do you think am i illuminating more than i was um a few minutes ago i'm not really sure um it feels good the the rose i feel like the rose is pretty strong um i'm not a huge fan of the rose smell itself uh so i don't know if i would use this very often but that being said it feels really nice on my face. And please excuse, I have a ginormous zit right there. I don't know when it came. I just know that it's taking a vacation on my face. So, but yeah, I think maybe I look a little bit more illuminated. I like, I do like Wander Beauty. I like their like kind of simple and classic, just like pr like um, product products, uh, the way it's packaged and everything. So that's, I, I, I do like that. I do, I have a couple Wander Beauty items that I use pretty often. So that's a neat addition to that. Okay. So now we have Sunday Riley. Oh, this is exciting. I've never, I don't know that I've had a Sunday Riley uh, product before, but I've heard great things about it. So this is a firming resurfacing essence. Okay. It says after apply to dry skin after cleansing can be misted directly on the face or sprayed into the palm of the hand and patted onto the skin can be used morning and night before serums, oils, and moisturizer. All right, so then on the back, it tells you how it works. How does your skin's microbiome affect your overall complexion? A balanced microdome, microdome, microbiome can lead to healthier looking, more radiant skin. An imbalanced microbiome, microbiome, can lead to skin issues like breakouts, redness, dryness, and sensitivity. All right, so there's a whole description of stuff that's in here. Um, it's peptide infused essence, resurfaces, balances, and firms the look of your skin while drenching it in advanced green tea and antioxidant support. So I'm not gonna go through and read the rest. It has some ingredients that I can't quite pronounce. Um, but yeah, so the key, they have key ingredients that help with the, they have firming peptides, fermented honey, chlorella, kelp, and seawater, pink yeast filtrate, egg, EGCG, and ceramides. Don't like saying the word yeast. Does anybody like to say the word yeast? I really don't like to say the word yeast. 
But anyway, let's see what this looks like. Oh, well, for being called pink drink, that is pink. It almost looks like it's grapefruit, well, like grapefruit juice. Huh. Firming, resurfacing essence. Hmm. Let's see what it smells like. I'm going to put some on my hand. Spray it on my hand. Huh. Yeah, it smells nice. That's not my face, but I don't feel like it would work on my face right now because it's not clean. Um, but on my hands, it looks good. And I, I want to tell you guys, earlier this week, I don't... Can you see that? It's just shiny. Um, I was using my curling wand on my hair and I just, I kind of, it was just in the, in like going autopilot, just, you know, picking out and, you know, doing the whole, I set it down. I went to pick it up and I picked up the wrong end of the curling wand. So my whole hand, let's say this is the curling wand, my whole hand, this is the iron part and this is the handle. And I should have grabbed the handle, but I grabbed the iron part like this and it was like that. It was that fast and it burnt my whole hand. So it's getting a lot better. It's just right now it's at that orange kind of cracked face, like phase right now. It's not uncomfortable anymore. It just kind of looks icky. So anyway, that was a side story. I hope that you liked it. All right, this is one of my add-ons. This is the K-Voss Perfecting Potion Primer. And I just, I got this in my Ipsy bag quite a few months ago, and it's very small, but I love it. I love it. I don't need a whole lot. And when I put it on my face, it's just, it's so smooth. And I, I find a hard time seeing any of these blurring primers actually like blurring my face, but this is one of the ones that I really, even if it doesn't blur my like blemishes or my freckles as much as I'd like, it really does feel really nice and I feel like it is a really good base uh, for the makeup to go on after it. So if I see this in like the pop-up shop or the extra one when you choose your bag, I typically add one or two each month to get it. So I have a little bit of a supply. All right, got a couple more guys. So let's see. So this is Keys Soul Care Sheer Flush Cheek Tint in the color Grace. Let's see. And I think Keys, is that Alicia Keys brand? I'm not really sure. I feel like I should probably know that, but I don't. Okay, so the nice little container. Okay, and it's just like a little red pot of this. And we'll just, let's put some of this on my cheek. Here, I'll get out of the way. This is not like the best job of putting this on that I could have done, but you know what I can do is I can even out with this brush. So I think it adds some good color. I, I will play around with it definitely a lot more. It takes me a minute, I think, or it will take me a minute to get used to like jelly sort of like um, blush. It just seems kind of foreign in my mind right now. Like the, the blush isn't powdery, but that doesn't mean it's bad. And I, I, I like the color of it. So winner. Okay, I have three more things in here. Okay, so this is TYS Beauty for Ipsy. And it is Lip Treat, Peppermint Infused Lip Plumper. A treat for the lips that promotes a long lasting plump, soothing and hydrating effect. So, I'm not sure about this one. It looks nice. It's nice. Like it has substantial weight in here. Um, So it says just apply as you would a lip gloss. I have a little bit of lip gloss on right now. Um, let me wipe some of that off. Not all of it, because it's kind of impossible sometimes to get some of this lip gloss off with just like a Kleenex. But I can smell the peppermint. I can smell the peppermint. Yeah, I can smell the peppermint. And unfortunately, peppermint is not one of my favorite flavors to have on my lips. Um, but 
I guess we'll see in the next couple minutes. You got you guys got to pay attention to see if these lips look any more plump, okay? All right. Then we have the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. And this is in the color Nude 4. Okay. So, I'll just put it right on my back of my hand. Okay, so that's the color and I'll go ahead and I will use the contour brush that I could probably use for foundation as well on this one if I can get it out of this plastic. Okay. Yeah, that blended perfectly and I realize my hand's not the best place to put it because my hands have so many veins in them, but I don't know where else I would go. But it, I mean, you can barely even tell I have anything on. And it feels really like light and airy. I really like, I really like that. I've never, I don't even know. It just says nude sticks. It doesn't really tell me what brand it is. Maybe it'll tell me in the magazine. So then last up is the palette. A little smudge on it. Iconic London. This is going to be really hard, you guys, to not have a fur reflection on it. And I really, I'm really sorry about it. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it, but I'm going to cover up the mirror. Get this open. Cover up the mirror. Oof, I just scratched one of them. Um, with the news, with the magazine, because if I do the thing where I cover it up with the case, like that's just as reflecting as the mirror. So, okay. I just chipped off a bit of the, darn it. And you'll see this coral reef color. I just kind of chipped off part of it. But yeah, look at those colors, you guys. These are beautiful. They're beautiful. So there are 20 shades ranging from pool party to coral reef to sun-kissed Havana, tequila sunrise, and aloha. And I think I made a decision that instead of doing it on my arm, because that never really turns out well, maybe I should do it on this arm just like this. That's maybe what I'll do. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do four because that's about how many will fit on my arm. Okay, so I'm going to start with beach bronzed. Get that on there. And then we're gonna do heat wave. We're all gonna get one of those heat waves here in a little while. Don't I'm, don't quote me on that. I I don't know that for sure. And then let's see. I think I'll do tan lines. And at the end, I think I'm gonna do after party because who doesn't love an after party well me when i was in my 20s my best friend we would go to parties and then it would be late and the party was over and she'd be like after parties i'm like uh, okay i guess so yeah all right so let's see so this is beach bronzed this one right here a little bit more to it to make it a little bit more pigmented. This one is heat wave and it, the orange, it stayed pretty well. Yeah. All right. The third one is called tan lines and this is the one that doesn't have any shimmer to it. And then we have after party, which is also a matte color and doesn't have any shimmer to it. But yeah, so those, and they all pigmented pretty well. Um, I'm curious that this, there's one called seashells and it's just like white. I wonder how that looks. Yeah, I guess that's kind of about what you expect. It doesn't really show up. I think you would just probably put it like in the corner of your eye or something. And is there one more? Let's just, for kicks and giggles, let's just do Moonlight. Moonlight is also a pretty white one. Um, take off. My watch gives me a little bit more room. Okay, so the black, it's like, 
not black, I'm sorry, moonlit, it's kind of like a moonbeam. And look at that, that's definitely, that's definitely a color. So yeah, so I'm impressed with the colors of this palette. And I mean, I will say like the quality of the palette itself uh, feels a little, a little cheap, like compared to some of the other palettes that I know that we've gotten before, but the size of it's great. I do like that there, there is a mirror inside and it has a cover right now. So I will take off the cover. You know how many palettes I have that it took me forever to realize that they cover up the mirrors. So I would always just have my comp, my, like the palettes and then the mirror. And I didn't really think about it. And then the mirror would get kind of like smudgy. And then I would realize I can pull the part off. It's like a brand new mirror. So now it's a brand new mirror, nice and shiny. Um, but yeah, so that's an, I, I, I do like this palette. I think it has just enough like neutral colors to like do the, for the base. And then it has the color schemes are different throughout it. I feel like you could make, I could make so many looks with this palette. So that's, that's really exciting. All right. So that is what is in my Nicolium bag X box. Let's do, try to do a little bit of pricing on these if I can find them in here. So the iconic London palette that we just went through, it is worth $62. Um, next I see the Saturday skin gentle cleanser is 26. Okay, I didn't get that. I did not get that. I did not get that. Uh, didn't get that. Uh, Wander Beauty, the glow ahead illuminating face oil was $42. Uh, the Keys um, Flush Cheek Tint, $22. Um, and then, is there anything else? Okay, the Sunday, Sunday Riley, the one that's in like the really pink bottle. The pink drink is $48. The nude stick, that that foundation. Um, let's see, thirty six dollars. And then the lash treat, TYS Beauty lip treat is thirty dollars. And trying to see, I don't see um the brushes. I don't see the um, complex culture brushes on here anywhere. So I can't, I'm not even gonna try to add all that together. I know that it, you know, you pay, I think what, $55 for all of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not blown away, but honestly, I'm pretty excited about some of these things. I, I know we talk about all the skincare that we get sometimes, but this pink drink, pink drink thing, um, I'm very interested in, and I really think I'm gonna like this illuminating fo face, voice, this face oil that here it is. So that just, it's just so nice and, and pretty. Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy this one a lot more than I enjoyed the last uh, Glam Bag X. I hope everybody else did too. Hopefully this means high things for, for the next one. Yeah, I guess I just gotta go put all this in my makeup room. My makeup room, I say it like it's whole makeup room. No, I'm sure like a lot of us, it's just my bathroom. <laughs> my bathroom that has um, like, a, like a, a shelf, stacked shelves that I just put stuff in. And it's fun, it's fun to see what I get. Um, so, but this was really exciting. I, I have been a little bit less impressed um, with some of the stuff about Ipsy lately. And just this month, I decided to cancel my regular glam bag. I had signed up for the year of glam bags that I paid like the whole year. So I got like a bag free or something. Um, but I, I had been put on the wait list for the glam bag plus probably back in like October. Um, and never really thought about it too much. And then last month it said that all three, the glam bag, the glam bag plus and glam bag X were all active. And then the next day I looked at it, it said my glam bag was not active. So I had to contact them and it was kind of like a, 
It was a mess a little bit, but what ended up turning out is, is that they refunded me the money like for the time left of my glam bags I had paid. So they gave me back like $75 and then I'm just gonna have the glam bag plus from now on and then upgrade to X if I want to for the future. It was just a little bit confusing and a little frustrating, but um, but we, we got through it. We got through it. My life, you know, it, it didn't ruin my day because I understand this is a very small problem. But anyway, but yeah, so this was a good one to open. I'm glad that I got to open it with you guys. And I um, am not subscribing to a couple of the boxes that I've been getting for a few months because I really am trying to find just like in like individual people who are doing like makeup mystery boxes on, on Poshmark or on um, eBay or whatever, mostly Poshmark. And I have a couple coming in the mail in the next couple of weeks. So I'm really, really excited about those ones because, you know, sometimes like I, I do like the, you know, the glam boxes and the boxy charms and all that stuff, but it, it it's not always like personalized to me. And when you talk to these people on like Poshmark or whatever, they like kind of give you questions to answer that they can curate a box that is at least somewhat personalized to you. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing this next month. I'm going to try and, and do less of this and more of that sort of thing and, and see how it goes. But anyway, that's about all I have for you guys today. I really thank you for watching with me and I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys back here later.